what's going on making 290 trading gold and then we'll have another trade recap for the amd trade hope everyone's doing well let us dive on in so this is um friday's pnl total around 145 146 and we have these two positions or these two trades on gold um, the reason why there's two is because one of them was made in a 25k account and the other was made in a 6k account probably a little large on the 6k account sizing uh, but these are where they two, the two came from and they were on gold on the hourly time frame so let's get into it let us pull it up and um yeah so the general gist that we've been kind of getting here has not been great um as in we have been getting a lot of price action like this which i particularly don't love and doesn't really fit my style very very well um so you either adapt or you look elsewhere and so that's what we've been looking and we look looking elsewhere and that's where we, we find gold uh, i haven't traded gold a ton but i traded gold on this one hour time frame bull flag break the upside call it a bull flag call it a horizontal resistance um, this was a push over 2400 which was two new all-time highs on gold and uh, we essentially filled on the break of that i put my stop loss underneath the lows of that candle pretty much like right down here right, right around 2393 or so and uh, then i targeted around 2420 we can actually see on the executions if i pull them up you'll see where i got in to get out so i got in at 24 uh just about Twenty-four thousand and three dollars, and I exited at just over twenty-four thousand twenty dollars. Um, the trade actually only lasted about thirty minutes, um, roughly. And uh, this was again, like I said before, it was a bull flag break, and it was on the one-hour chart, which I haven't done a ton of one-hour trades, and I was a little bit skeptical to trade the one-hour on gold. I really was, um, but it worked. And uh, this actually went to what at the high here for twenty-four thirty-seven. So it actually, it went like. 10 to 12 dollars higher than where i took my profits which are like right here so could have maybe even put it up to like the 25 maybe and gotten lucky uh either way once you had a big move like that i would have moved my stop loss to break even if let's say i targeted higher uh this would probably be stopping me out now break even potentially um if i did that but i did not so it worked out it was not it was not quite a two to one if we jump back into trade zella it was the r multiple i forget oh it doesn't have the targeted risk and stuff uh, but it was just under a two to one risk reward so i was risking about half a little bit more than half of what i made on both of these um, positions so that was the trade um and then uh, yeah that's it so the goal play if you jump back to the daily time frames very very strong problem is that you know it, we're, we're getting there right it's it's up a lot so it wouldn't be surprised for some more volatility some pullbacks and stuff uh, but silver as well super strong new highs not all-time highs but silver just got j just tagged just shy of 30 bucks and it was a very similar setup i actually just missed it on silver was the same same idea on silver though could have played that that too when i looked at silver silver was already up here and gold was just breaking so i played gold uh, and then you know would have been a very very similar situation had i played you know silver or gold you know so that's the trade recap there uh the made just shy of 300 bucks on those two trades and uh if we jump back to the dashboard on tradezilla for the month um we're slightly red but all it really took and we have some we actually have a red trade the next trade recap will be a red trade but all it really took you know is just hitting one uh, yeah, not that i have a great win rate but with the average win loss that i'm having uh, on average we're, we're going to be good we just got to get back into a rhythm or wait for, wait for the market to come back to uh, better conditions for me and that's really all i'm waiting for so that's the trade recap trades out i'll link it down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace